From a company that has collapsed or is on the brink of collapse to one that has already collapsed, Elizabeth Holmes, in her own mind, was a once-in-a-generation business leader. Her style, a black turtleneck sweater, copied straight from Steve Jobs from Apple. The growth of her company, Theranos, at one point made the Stanford University dropout the youngest self-made billionaire in history. But now she faces 20 years in jail if found guilty on the charges of wire fraud with the allegation she always knew her product was a con. The hype of her reputation gained her great honour. One example, she was President Barack Obama's ambassador for global entrepreneurship. I'm Elizabeth Holmes. I'm the founder and CEO of Theranos. Our work is in being able to realise a healthcare paradigm around early detection, prevention and consumer empowerment. But Holmes is now before the court facing 12 charges of wire fraud over the collapse of her company, once valued at $9 billion US dollars. She's charged with allegations that Theranos was a scam. It's claimed that the ambitious Edison machine could produce numerous accurate health tests from a single spot of blood was a fraud, as described by whistleblower and ex-Theranos worker Erica Chung last year in a TEDx talk. And so before I would run a patient sample, I would have a sample where I knew what the concentration was. And in this case, it was 0.2 for TPSA, which is an indicator of whether someone has prostate cancer or is at risk of prostate cancer or not. But when I'd run it in the Theranos device, it would come out 8.9. And then I'd run it again, and it'd come out 5.1. And I'd run it again and it'd come out 0.5, which is technically in range, but what do you do in this scenario? What do you do indeed? And this, partly, is what the current charges are about. It's about what Elizabeth Holmes and her ex-partner Ramesh Balwani did when they tried to get the unreliable Edison device approved by the regulator, the Food and Drug Administration. So because we were seeing so many issues with the Theranos device that was actively being used to test on patients, what we had done is we had taken the sample and we had run it through an FDA approved machine and we had run it through the Theranos device. And guess what happened? We got two very, very different results. So what do you think they did in this scenario? You would anticipate that you would tell the regulators, like, we have some discrepancies here with this new technology. But instead, Theranos had sent the results of the FDA-approved machine. Get that? According to Chung, Theranos did not send the results of its own machine to the Food and Drug Administration. It sent test results from a completely different, already approved machine. In court this week, Holmes defence lawyer Lance Wade told jurors in San Jose, failure is not a crime. Trying your hardest and coming up short is not a crime. Time will tell.